the largest species of cat in the world. Tigers are powerful hunters with sharp teeth, strong jaws, and agile bodies. Researchers still have much to learn about these beautiful, critically endangered, solitary cats. Tigers have reddish-orange coats with prominent black stripes, white bellies, and white spots on their ears. Like a human fingerprint, no two tigers have the same markings. Because of this, researchers can use stripe patterns to identify different individuals when studying tigers in the wild. Tigers are the largest cat species in the world, and the Siberian tiger is the largest subspecies with males weighing up to 660 pounds or 300 kilograms and measuring 10 feet or 3 meters. Sumatran tigers are the smallest subspecies, maxing out at 310 pounds or 140 kilograms and 8 feet or 2.4 meters. Female tigers of all subspecies tend to be smaller than their male counterparts. Tigers are animals that live in South and Southeast Asia, as well as the eastern part of Russia and China. Some live in temperate climates, while others live in tropical environments. Siberian tigers live in cold climates where it snows. Their heavy fur coat and extra layer of fur on their paws protect them from cold temperatures. Also, they have an extra layer of fur around their neck that's sometimes called a scarf. This insulates them from the cold even more. Tigers live in different habitats including swamps, grasslands, deciduous, and mangrove forests. The type of habitat each of the subspecies lives in depends on its species. Malayans live in tropical broadleaf forests, while Indochinese tigers live in hilly, mountainous areas. Bengals live in rainforests, while the Sumatran live in lowland forests and around swamps. Like other big cats, tigers are skilled hunters who make use of different techniques to kill other animals, mainly ungulate herbivores, which are their primary food. When detecting prey, they move very stealthily as close as possible, but at a distance to avoid being discovered. Then they slowly creep towards the prey and jump taking it by surprise so it has a small chance to escape. When tigers catch prey, they bite their neck between the vertebrae to break the spine and kill the animal. Although tigers are extremely efficient hunters, they don't always make the kill as you would expect them to. When they can sneak up on the prey, they only have a few seconds to pounce and kill them by biting them in the neck area. Tigers can run very fast, reaching speeds of up to 50 miles per hour. However, they can only maintain this speed over short distances. They hunt mainly at nighttime. Their excellent night vision and highly developed senses of hearing and smell allow this. Their night vision is six times better than that of humans. Tigers live alone for reasons that are based on real behavioral research and also specific, changing circumstances. In short, tigers are extremely territorial, meaning that they mark their own space and want to occupy it all by themselves. They seem to gravitate towards feelings of independence because it's easier to hunt that way. Tigers break from their solitude on rare occasions, usually when mating or raising young. Cubs stay with their mothers until they learn to hunt successfully, usually at about 18 to 24 months old. They reach full independence after two to three years, at which point they disperse to find their territory. Because of their size and strength, adult tigers don't have many predators. Humans are predators of this animal. Elephants and bears can also pose a threat to them. Tiger cubs have a lot more predators than adults, hyenas. Crocodiles and snakes are just a few of the predators of cubs. Habitat loss through deforestation is a threat. Poaching is another major threat. They are hunted for their skin, fur, teeth, and other body parts. Also, many are captured and sold to individuals as exotic animals. This is illegal. These creatures do not receive the proper care when sold as exotic pets. In many cases, they are starved by their owners and not given the proper medical care, shelter, or exercise. Not surprisingly, tigers kept as exotic pets have been known to attack and injure or kill the people who purchased them. So, why aren't there wild tigers in Africa? The African continent is known for its great diversity of wild flora and fauna. 
The diverse ecosystems of the continent are home to wildlife species found nowhere else in the world, including some of the world's deadliest animals. Lions, leopards, and tigers are all part of the Felidae family of cats, which originated in Africa and share a common ancestor. At some point, probably around 2 million years ago, one offshoot of Felidae migrated east towards Asia, and those cats evolved into the orange, black, and white striped beasts we know today. Once established in Asia, however, tigers never returned to Africa although scientists aren't exactly sure why. Many wildlife researchers believe that, historically, tigers inhabited much of Asia and that various tiger subspecies naturally migrated and spread out over time. Pleistocene glacial fluctuations and geographic boundaries, however, probably made it too difficult for tigers to return to Africa. According to University of Minnesota conservation biology researcher Xu Jin Luo, Tigers did not disperse westward to India until 16,000 years ago. Another possibility could be they found the Asian climate more suitable for them to live and grow, as African continents consist more of savannas. It's not as suitable for tigers as it is for lions, as their skin is orange or dark yellow having unique black stripes. It's hard for them to hide in the plants of savanna, hence hunting became difficult for them, which can make the condition worse for the tiger to survive in Tanzania. But in the Asian continent, the dense jungles made it easy for them to hide and hunt. Even though the tiger's striped camouflage performs best in jungles and forests, the woodlands and savannas of much of Africa would not stop this adept apex predator from hunting successfully, since most prey species do not see a full range of colors, but more silhouettes and movement. The tiger's hunting strategy actually works reasonably well in a surprisingly wide range of habitats. Chasing prey out in open grasslands, though, could pose a problem for this cat that is more bulk muscle than lean speed. With most hunts never reaching cheetah speeds, many African predators never need to run faster than around 30 miles per hour. Leopards, in fact, do quite well in all of Africa, with a similar strategy of stalking and pouncing, using smarts and power instead of sheer speed. Now, although tigers are not indigenous to Africa, they can be found there in zoos, special reserves, and even kept as pets. Two projects, both challenged by ethical and financial issues, have released several tigers into protected reserves in South Africa. The Lauhu Valley Reserve Project was created in 2002 by a conservation group called Save China's Tigers. The intent was to nurture and rewild captive-born South China in South Africa and eventually release them into protected natural habitats in China. This tiger subspecies is listed as critically endangered and effectively extinct in the wild. Only about 100 individuals are left in the world, all living in zoos or small protected reserves and all descended from just six wild-caught individuals. The SCT project has proven that captive-born tigers can easily learn to survive and hunt wild African prey species, and several purebred South China tiger cubs have been born to this successful group. The Lauhu Reserve is now home to almost a full 20% of surviving South China tigers. Creating this ex situ conservation breeding group of tigers outside China has added to the security of the species in the wild, while at the same time has helped to restore a natural biome to a section of South Africa that had been decimated by intensive sheep farming years earlier. Tiger Canyon, also in South Africa, is another fenced reserve and home to a group of hunting and breeding tigers. However, because these tigers are unendangered hybrids, including inbred white tigers, it has no true species conservation value. Acquired through dubious financial means, the project's ethics are further controversial since the reserve was created solely to make the film Living with Tigers on the Discovery Channel. Though the founder of the reserve was almost killed by one of these tigers in 2012, the reserve is now run as a privately owned, for-profit safari lodge. Despite the controversial conservation value of Tiger Canyon, it has helped the Lauhu Valley Reserve to prove tigers can easily survive in Africa.
That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.